Hey everybody, welcome back to the show. We are continuing the plan for the rest. This episode is to turn in two quests here, at least, by if I find something else while I'm there, then okay. Then we're going to continue the other quest, which has us talking to different innkeepers and trying to find a maybe missing person. Maybe she's trying to leave a cult. We don't actually know. So we'll see. We'll see how we react with that. And then I wanted to get back to the worm because I attempted to explore the worm a few episodes ago now and I didn't find anything. And while on Twitter uh, posting that I was playing this game, I did happen upon a minor spoiler involving the worm, which is completely fine because it turns out it's something that I needed to do. So that is the plan for the rest of this episode. Let's get on with it. And Pithy in the chat, how's your week been so far? So it is Wednesday. It has been a very busy week, but not overwhelming, if that makes sense, which is actually probably good. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm completely fine with busy, um, but, but overwhelming is, you know, not amazing. So this, this has just been a, it's been a fair, straight busy week. I will tell you, I made a choice that has cost me some exhaustion. I stayed up rather late. <laughs> Monday, Sunday and Monday night, watching The Lincoln Lawyer on Netflix. They turned it into a series. I I am not ashamed to admit that I have read every Michael Connolly book. They're just you know, always like consistent and good. And I and I just like a like a detective novel or a lawyer novel, but it's not Grisham. I don't really like the Grisham lawyer stuff. And they made a movie that I thought did a good job with Matthew McConaughey. I thought it was actually a good movie. And now they turned it also into a show. So they recast it and they did a lot of the same plot as a movie, which I thought might be a mistake, but I just thought it really worked well. I watched all 10 episodes. Which is like, that normally would take me like three months to get through. So that's what I did instead of sleeping. So that's how my week has been uh, busy. And then I added on a little, a little twist of exhaustion because I stayed up too late watching The Lincoln Lawyer. And I also canceled Netflix. So part of me is like, oh, I need to like watch this. I need to like get through this. Yeah, I watched 10 episodes in, in two, like three days, I guess. Which is a, it is a lot for me. Um, and this weekend I had watched Stranger Things, which we watched it, but it just just ended it mid sentence. Why did I cancel? Um, I I canceled bef before the like stock came out, where everyone's like, "Oh no, Netflix is in decline." I actually canceled because they. Uh, increase the price again it was like the third increase and I, and it's so it's like it's now the most expensive streaming and when i was looking at it i'm like how many hours do i spend watching like different streaming things and it's like number one is youtube like it's not even close for me right i'm not the only one that lives here though so we got to balance these things out but then when you get to netflix it's kind of like there have been like whole months where I haven't turned on Netflix. And when it was, you know, $4.99, you could ignore it. Um, you shouldn't, but you could. And then, you know, that just kind of continued. And then it got to the point where, you know, now it's like $16. And, I, and, and people have been like, oh, well, why don't you just share passwords or whatever? I've just never been that kind of person. And I've always, you know, just had my own account, whatever. Maybe I'm an idiot. But, um, so I just, they just said, hey, the price is going up. You have two options. You can pay it or you can cancel. I said cancel. So it's, I won't have it in like one more day. 
So I was like, all right, well, let me watch this. Maybe I'll go back in the future. I don't know. But, you know, I don't know if you ever tried to, like, cancel an Audible description on Amazon. But, um, I mean, they'll, they'll be like, why are you canceling? I'll be like, it's too expensive. And they'll be like, well, what if we give you, like, 10% off? And I'll be like, no. Nah. Like, well, all right, what do we give you 20% off? And I'm like, all right. <laughs> it's just, it's just, I don't know, whatever. It's, it's their business, but I canceled because it is now literally the most expensive and it's probably my least watched. That's the answer. I have nothing like personally or or against them. Um, I try not to get too like caught up in any you know movements or anything and just try to make my decisions rationally and that's that's where I landed. <laughs> It is the most expensive though, and that was that was a problem with uh, HBO for a long time. Is they had like a couple really you know big things, but it was like fifteen dollars a month. So I would often pay for HBO for like three or four months, and then cancel, and then go back in like three or four months. You know, like I would go through cycles with HBO because it was it was the most expensive back then, and. Um, now Netflix is so yes I will follow the same the same thing with Netflix I don't know they don't give they don't give you like discounts for being a continual subscriber I've been a member of Netflix since it was DVD only continuous without single interruption since like 2009 or or like 2006 I'd have to look on my account and they didn't say anything when I canceled you know they weren't like hey We've noticed that you're one of our first customers that bought, you know, streaming back when that was an add-on to the DVD service. No, they didn't say anything. So it's just like, okay, well, whatever. I don't know. Like you would think, you would just think of all the customers they want to keep. It's somebody who barely uses it and has had continuous membership since their service existed. You would think. I don't know. Whatever. That's where I'm at. Now I'm starting to get like a little personal, like like feeling. Which I was trying not to do. But I do I do feel like that's odd. Just from a like a business point of view. So the sh the short real most important answer is price per watch time. Oh, now, now you want to talk. So how does she know these husks are coming? Like, like, is there some form of, commun oh yeah, they have post. That's right. I was like, is there some form of communication? Yeah, they have a mailbox that's like this, like robot thing. So yeah. Oh, I got a hundred. Oh. Man, now all of a sudden I, I was worried about money. Now I'm sitting on 800. I think I could, uh, yeah, I can upgrade the rest of my bike. Okay. Are there any quests that I can just do real quick? Uh, what? What is this? Uh, I don't know this one. Oh, it's literally right here. Okay, we're going to do this quest. Remember how I said the plan? immediately change it uh, but come on there's a quest right here all right let me get out of this town I have so much stamina now watch me sprint and then run and jump on and climb a wall all my stamina okay this is a little riskier This color. Okay, where? That must be it over there. Cool. The um, the beetle masks flips open every now and then. Is it only? Oh, there it is. Uh, so that's super creepy. I'm definitely gonna take this mask off. Uh, some people might think that's cool. 
and you know you be you i think it's creepy this mask with the horns here this is the second mask i got this is the first mask that you don't start with and i find myself wearing it all the time what does that mean what does that mean in the culture of this place it means uh, that i haven't Grown or I haven't learned anything. The sounds this bike makes are definitely different. Okay, what's the actual quest before I before I make a make a mistake and jump down there? You should look for Micah at the thieving well. Man. Okay, he's not a thief. That's the name of this place. Okay. All right, before I do any of that, let's climb up and look for some easy tomb. Can't find that. Fine. Oh, there's a tomb. Oh, I knew it. Anytime you get to a place like this, there's always like one or two like real easy tomb. They're just like looking to be tombed. That way you can tomb them back to the tomb queen. So much stamina. Yes. Okay, so that is kind of an obvious one. Let me look around. Maybe up there, but I don't see an easy path up there, so probably not. And then, yeah, definitely up there, right between my horns. I knew there'd be one up there. Okay, so I'm going to climb up this mountain, see if there's anything on it. Whether there is or not doesn't matter, because then I will float over there. That is a really bad jump. So let's see if I actually have enough stamina for this. I slid way down. Way down. Oh, the sky looks great. It is uh, midnight now. That's so cool how black it is and kind of purpley. That's really nice. Sometimes they don't do... I, I don't think sometimes the night doesn't do this game justice. Sometimes it does. <clears throat> okay. There is nothing up there, and that's okay. I was pretty well expecting that. Let's always want to try to get to the highest point if I can, so let's do that here. I don't. Kind of being a little glitchy. Okay. All right. Great. Nothing anywhere. Perfect. So the fact that there are two pretty easy to get chum eggs is a good sign. This also, this might be an earlier quest that I just kind of missed, so it actually might not be that hard. Okay, well, you don't look like a magpie. Hmm. There it is. Okay. Where do you think this guy is? Is he down at the bottom? Do, am I going to have to climb all the way out? Is that... Is that why there's like all these platforms? I can't use the rope. Okay, well, there's some stairs. Ooh. I'm just kind of thinking, I'm not really looking forward to like a super long climb. I say that in a game with fast travel. So maybe there is no long climb. It's really shuddering. Again. Weird. Weird. Um, 
I don't even know what the problem I'm trying to solve right now is, which is the which is a problem this game has often. I will say this game pulls that off better than almost any other game. Because you're kind of supposed to be exploring and you're like supposed to be looking around and you're supposed to not know what's going on. Where there's some games where it's like, what am I supposed to be doing? And you just wander around like an idiot for hours. Um, and it's very frustrating. But this game, it's not. My quest is find a guy. I see a locked room with a switch in it. I'm gonna need to get in there. Why? Don't know. Don't know. But I see a locked room. And I'm gonna collect these butterflies. wrong but all right I need to I need to hide my taskbar it's like super in my way huh. sorry okay there we go now I can see what's happening cool 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 The thing thinks I'm always talking to it, unless I'm trying to actually get it to do something. Then it's like, I don't understand what you're trying to say. You know. You are. You're always. Sorry. Okay. So, I could just dive all the way to the bottom, which is like kind of what I'm thinking of doing. But I don't want to miss something. That room that was locked had no, like, clear way in it. Oh, a Chumake. Okay, we gotta get in there. How do we get in there? Is this just... Oh, it's just literally open. Alright, that's easy. <laughs> Alright. Uh, and this is why we explore with the Chumness. And I am down with the Chumness. Oh, wow, we already have 70 Chumakes. That's amazing. Um, okay. So now we go... I mean, there's a guy down there right at the bottom. Ooh, is this way to get a climber's mask? I was kind of thinking, like, if I can get a climber's mask, that maybe that's... Maybe that's who I want to be? I don't know. I haven't... None of the climbers I've met have been, like, nice or cool. Oh, he hurt himself. Oh, are you okay? Please help! Like, his voice is ragged. I didn't quite nail that, as he looks for someone who spent just slightly too long down a well. I'm so sorry for the yawn. My apologies. Uh, a little sandy and tethered. I'm here to rescue you. Sure. I could scold him, but what would be the point? I took Mike and I'm here to save him, and then my name is Sable. Sable, thank you so much. How did you know I was here? I informed Micah that Bashir sent me. Oh no. Why is that bad? I was so stupid with him. Just arrogant, rude. He's always telling me to be more careful, not to go off hunting alone. I'm always so silly with him. Is silly the word? It's so pointless, but I always feel like I have to prove something. Like the more he tells me to be careful, the less I want to do it. Is he your father? Because that would explain a lot. <laughs> but it's for no reason. I'm just being difficult for the sake of it. Are you a teenager? Don't be so hard on yourself. It's, it's, they animate like one out of a hundred conversation points. So this one was pat on the shoulder. It just seems odd. That it's like, that's the one you animate, huh? Uh, I try to tell Micah not to be too hard on himself, but he cuts me off. I don't know what it gets me. I'm just a big, stupid child who can't... I tell Micah not... <laughs> you can't dwell on this right now and ask if he can walk. No, not enough to make my way out of here, at least. This is why I drag myself over here. I think I might use the crane, but I can't access the controls. 
I wonder if I could access the controls. And Micah digs around his pocket until he finds what he's looking for, a key! There's the key we were looking for. And I already know where the door is. I found this key, I should let you in. From there, you can use the crane. I nod. I'm sorry, I can't help more if you'll really use it. Thank you, Sable, you're very kind. I tell him that no, that that's no matter, and that he isn't useless, and that I take the key and I go, take the mint, and I stick it in my purse. Okay, uh, so now we climb back up to the gate and use the crane. I mean, it's pretty straightforward. <laughs> It's straightforward, but the real question is, what's the reward? <laughs> I suspect it's a climber's badge. I suspect. I also suspect. Whoop. OK. Good thing we have so much stamina, we can overcome bugs. I kind of feel like this was, um, you see how there's all these like ramps and stuff? I kind of feel like I maybe should have come here sooner, if that makes sense. Like it feels a little easier than some of the other things I've been doing. And it is in kind of the more starting area. So that's... That's my theory. Where's the... There it is. Because you see how there's all those ramps? There's very little, like, challenge. Look around. Choom, choom, no chooms. And use the crate. This is a pretty, like, serious machine. It's a giant platform. Think about this. This is a well. And it's a giant platform. Is it gonna hold water? <laughs> Is it gonna hold a bunch of buckets? It bounces a little. <laughs> Table, yes. Uh, whatever you did there, it seems to be working. Keep at it. Oh. Do I like literally keep at it? Like literally push the same button again? <laughs> okay. No. Don't literally push the same button again. Okay. Now I feel like a, an idiot because I knew that didn't make any sense. <laughs> I was like, wow, this game is being silly. So now we get to the top. Yeah, the layout of these like jumps and climbs and stuff and the ladder doesn't use stamina. Yeah, this really makes me feel like I was supposed to come here much earlier in the game, which is totally fine. I'm not complaining. We've had some hard... Uh, not not hard quests, but some hard climbs today. So I'll take a I'll take a little easy stroll up. No big deal. I just shortcut this too. I can actually use my stamina, my advanced stamina to my advantage. Oh, or I can't. Didn't see that lip there. This game doesn't handle lips. <laughs> Okay, there we go. This game does not handle lips well. I think I'd be able to just climb the rope in the middle, but I cannot. Oh, how did I miss this the first time? Oh, I'm so glad I found it. So that is a four chum eggs just for this well. Happy days. Oh. That's how I missed that. I'm not even supposed to be over here. Well, there's, I mean, there's a, a little, like, bridge to it, so. Oh, well, all right. Well, that was terrible. Nope, let go. We are going to make this work. Oh, okay. Nope. Nope. Okay. Nope. Nope. Hold on. I told you, this game doesn't like lips. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Come on, Sable. Maybe if I jump at an angle. 
I do not want to have to like. Why are they putting the greenery here as if I can climb on it? But I can't. You know what? I'm gonna collect this butterfly. I don't even care. Alright, I didn't even collect the butterfly. That's. Ugh! Alright. This game's gotta do something about its inability to. <laughs> inability to work fast flips. Wait a second, how am I supposed to go over that? Now I'm actually. Now I'm actually confused. So before I was just trying to be shortcutting. Oh, there's a huge ladder right there. Well, I, f I figured it out. If only there were some kind of indication about where I'm. Oh, here it is. Uh, I was trying to do a clever shortcut, which of course ended up being a, a long cut, as as most of the clever shortcuts do. Um, yeah, so I have the key still. Oh, yep, here it is. That's, that was exactly what I was going to say. I'm like, there's probably another door that uses the same key. And there it was the second I thought it. Can you get home? Mabel, how can I ever thank you? Um... I wouldn't say no to a little token. Yeah. Should I say it? He's going to give us he's going to give it to us anyways. Go home and apologize. Oh, I will. I will. I'll be apologizing for bad adventure for days. He deserves it. And I'll try not to worry him ever again. But I want to at least give you something. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like hands me a climbing badge and I take it great greedily. No, now I want a climbing mask. I don't want to look like a lizard, though. Um, I'm going to go back to Five Bells Camp. Should be fine. Walking just much easier than climbing. You're a saver, Thiebel. If I ever decide to become a climber. If you ever decide to become a climber, you've got my endorsement. Take care, all right? Tell him I will. We say fond goodbye. Cool. I have two climbing badges. So one more and I get a mask. And... I have no idea how to get them. So some masks are pretty straightforward. Do quest for merchants. Get the merchant mask. Whatever, right? Collect beetle poo. Get the beetle mask. Um, these, not so much. Okay, gang. Here's what we're doing. We are going to work on this quest, and then we're going to check out the worm. Because, like I, I, had, I had teased earlier... I spent a little time at the worm, failed miserably at the task that I was sent there to do, and then happened upon a slight spoiler online telling me I'd done something wrong. So we are going to do something right. What am I doing here? <laughs> oh yeah, I need to ask this person about floor. This lore person that's missing honestly sounds like they left their cult. So I'm not about like dragging somebody back to their cult. So we'll have to see what they say. Hopefully they're not in trouble. What can I do for you? You know where Laura is. I can't tell you where she is right now. But when I saw her, she was looking for the sleeping singers. They're set of stone whales. Can't miss them. First of all, we're going to skip this song. I'm trying to figure out... Find lore. Where is that? 
Let me, let me ask that again. Oh, I can't ask that again. Holy smokes. Uh, okay. Oh, it says here. Okay, good. Told me to look for the sleeping singers, a set of stone whales. I don't even know what that actually means. And Alfie said Laura had been seeking to follow the path of the archer. I don't know what stone whales is because they called the, the mothership over here that landed the whale. So, and like, here's another ship. Like these are ships. Do they call them whales? And then they say stone whale. What the heck is a series of stone whales? And is it here or is it like up here? And no, and I don't know anything about it. Man, what a super unhelpful, vague thing, because she acted like, oh, yeah, I'll, I'll tell you where she's at or, or where you should look. And then it's like really no information. This, this area was kind of interesting. I wouldn't call these stone whales either. Shoot. Shoot. I kind of, honestly, I will be, um, I feel rather silly, but I was, I honestly thought this was going to be kind of easy. Like, oh, just, they're going to tell me where she's at, and then I'm going to go find her, and then that will be the quest. Um... Set of stone whales. Okay, I'm gonna check the like street sign or whatever that is usually right outside of town. There it is. Okay, good. I'm glad I <laughs> glad I kind of remembered where it was. Okay, what's the name of it? Sleeping Stingers. Not on here. Oh man. What does this game mean by stone whales? Like a building? So this is the watch. That's a very famous place that a lot of people bring up. So that's not it. Stone cave. Crystal plateau. Seven sisters, not singing sisters. I don't think it's anywhere I've I've been before. Wow, this is um this this is where the game's like exploration kind of like uh, emphasis can be a little challenging because. I'm fine with like not having quest markers that lead you everywhere. But wouldn't you ask, where is that? And she's like, you can't miss it. And I'm like, I can't miss it because if I turn around and look, I'll see it. Like, I can't miss the 7-Eleven on the corner. Or like, I can't miss it because it's a very famous place like Rome. Well, I'm not anywhere near Rome, so I can miss it. <laughs> um. So yes, I would ask a follow-up question. And I don't have that option because, um, I mean, you don't have that option in a lot of games, so that's not unique to this. But this game is so focused on exploration and they're like, oh no, don't give them a quest marker. But it's like, no, I'm talking to a person about where to find something. In that instant, you don't have to put it on, on my like map but you can't say it's to the south of here, which they do all the time in this game. So, hmm, I don't know. That's, I am uh, frustrated with that turn of events. I'm gonna keep three of everything in case. Oh, never mind. he doesn't have any money. There is really no way to like get a bunch of money in this game because nobody has any. It is, it is just genuinely weird to me that I can't ask a follow-up question. 
Sleeping Singers, a set of stone whales. And I can't just say, where about, whereabouts? South, east, northwest. I don't know. All right. The fallback is the worm because I got, I have something, I have something to try at the worm. But before the worm, I, I, I don't know what a series of stone whales means, but I don't know. This is like, I don't know. There's a bunch of stone stuff out here. The sounds are crazy because the sounds come from this new motor. They're like, pew, 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 like these crystals. That's my other computer making. Yeah, babe. Boy, you know how annoyed I am at that merchant just saying it's a series of stone whales. You can't miss it really annoying. I can miss it. I am missing it. I will also say, for me in real life, the number of times people say you can't miss something and I do in fact miss it, it's probably 100%. It's one of my least favorite phrases, actually, for that reason. Ooh. Although, while I am dealing with my feelings around this, let's check this out. I've already been here. Okay, I've already been there. Never mind. I thought that was one of those rings that if you go through them fast enough, like something buried comes out. But that didn't seem to work. That's that's just a piece of the ship. Oh, how disappointing. It's not my computer, but they just did a patch last night and it's, I don't know, something's being weird. Oh, there's, uh, there's a tomb right there. I have definitely been here before. What a, what a swing and a miss previously from me. Uh, great. And now I'm really glad I came out here, even though I have no idea what these singing sisters are or where to find this person that may be in trouble but i have i have no ability to ask anybody for clarification about where they are oh that is annoying it's a surface that i can't climb on um could i have done that better All right, we're gonna try one more jump. This is probably not the way you're supposed to get up here, but I was like, oh, whatever, I can do that. Maybe that's what, maybe that's why I left that there. Uh, did I, did I do it? Oh, it's so close. Oh, that is painfully close. All right. Um, but yeah, I mean, anytime we can get a bonus to make, I'm super happy. I'm like literally about to Google singing sisters of Sable just because it just seems so odd that they would get me so close to where this person is and then not actually help me find them. Mm, nope. I see a chumag over there, but it's already atomic disposal. You know, for whatever reason, I didn't, I guess I didn't realize that that was the name of the company. Disposal? Hmm. All right, we're going to see what happens here. This is a, uh, I, I don't, I really don't know what's going to happen with this. Some things you can kind of invert and 
most things you can't. But let's see what happens. Huh? Oh. Oh, now the question is, do I have enough stamina? Which I think the answer is no, but it's so close. Oh, I'm basically max stamina upgrade, so... I can't do that climb, then almost nobody can. Hmm. I think I know why this Chumeg is here unclaimed. I think I never figured out how to climb up there. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. There it is. Taunting me. Not taunting. I've already been in here, but let's do... I want to look inside and see if there is an exit um, on the inside. Oh, that was embarrassing. What happens when you're in a rush? Oh! Alright. Oh, I remember this one. This one was actually really interesting. Um... Yeah, I didn't do this that all that long ago, actually. Why? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. I was in this area. Why did I do this one recently? But now I remember. It wasn't. Okay, now there's no exit in here. Okay. All right. So now I know why that Chumag is there. Okay, no problem. I want to get to the worm. I've been teasing the worm all episode. Let's get to the worm. We'll just have to remember we need, like, yet another stamina upgrade <laughs> before we can get this one, which is just crazy to think. We're, like, so overpowered in, in a lot of climbs. Okay, so I will tell you, oops, I will tell you the spoiler I read. So the game very much indicated that this like stone worm thing was important. Um, one of the characters that like sent me there, I don't even remember exactly how it was worded, but it was like, oh yeah, you have to check that out. It's like super important. And then I read a journal. that's like, I'm living here now, right? And I never, it just didn't make sense. If you go back and watch my video on YouTube or the VOD on, and this is definitely the wrong way up, um, on on Twitch, if it's, if it's still available, then you will see that I spent a lot of time kind of wandering around, maybe disappointed is the word, but like clearly not able to find what I was looking for. And what the spoiler that I read, which is why I'm back, is they talk about the worm cave and exploring it. I'm sorry, exploring it? There was nothing here, which is the part that was disappointing. So I am missing something. That's just literally it. So what am I missing? And how do we find it? That's, that's what we're doing right now. So I'm going to explore the worm. Whatever that even means. Woohoo! I pushed it just a little too far. Now I have to stop and take a break. And the, you have to wait until your entire stamina refills before you can be done with your break. Which is a downside when you have a bunch of stamina. So the way you're supposed to climb this is like skipping around. And because I have so much stamina from collecting all the chum eggs, kind of a big deal 
in the stamina world, but because I have so much stamina, um, I can just kind of bypass a bunch of the <laughs> smaller steps in order to get my way up higher and higher, even faster. And I'm uh, not ashamed digging the shortcuts. It won't be great if I fall, though. Ooh. Ah, look at that. That was pretty close. That's pretty good. Okay. This next part should be... Pretty straightforward. Okay. I'm going to take you to... The place... Where I... Left off. Confused. And not sure what to do. But apparently... Sorry, birds. You'll be fine. Okay. So there's a journal here. Can we read it? <clears throat> here I am. You told me to look at two... Uh, this is like one of their deities. And I can never figure out how to say their names. Uh, when I had lost it all, here I am with nothing and no one alone. At the end of all my failures, I sit and think for a while. Perhaps something will come to me. Otherwise, I look to fail or to fall. Uh, I know you won't hear me, but I have to tell you that she spoke to me in a voice of rolling thunder and late evening shivers. She shook my bones and told me there is more. This then I know, and I must look inside the statue. So I read this before, and I'm like, what am I missing? I have no way inside, but I will find one where I am bidden to go by their whim. There will be there. Well, I walk in her great shadow. I was like, OK, I spent a lot of time in here. And then I went all around the base looking for an entrance in the shadow or whatever, right? I stepped in this. This is like super gross. So the only thing I can think is based on the semi spoiler is this this is the access point so the question is how to activate it nope not that x is like the I heard an echo. That was cool. No, that's not it. Oh, ah, what was that noise? What is this? I have no idea what this is. Oh, Ray Drags, how you go? How you doing, man? Uh, haven't haven't been able to connect with you because of our time zones. <laughs> okay, can you block the weird yellow breathing things? Okay, I think I just had the opportunity to do that, and I and I messed it up, and, and then it pops open. Oh, so if, if I block them all, then then that'll pop open. is so weird. Why would... Why would calling do that? I have no idea. I'm, gl I'm glad that I... I found the, the spoiler, though, online, because I wasn't even trying, but... but yeah. Oh! Oh! Oh, hello! This is just wide open right now. I thought I thought this had to be the like entrance. I'm just like jumping around in this like disgusting pool and then and then nope, that whole thing was open right there. Okay, well hopefully there's a way out. Um All right, the 
sphincter is opening. So it's like very much alive, but it's a statue and they labeled it as such. This is one of the grosser things in this game that I've seen so far. Okay, we have a journal, more written notes. It seems they managed to get inside too. Okay, here we go. Well, thank you for your help. Uh, although I guess I had figured it out. I just wasn't looking in the right area, um, that, which is kind of funny. Anna, I'm inside. I got inside. And I see now that this gaping darkness, why they beckoned me in this gaping darkness. I don't like that term. Uh, there's a secret here she wished me to know. And it's so much more than I ever imagined. And I am not, Pithy says, you're now a proctologist. Uh, for sure. Apparently. Uh, this place, this creature, she is alive. Not in the way of you and I. I mean, maybe. <laughs> but in a way of slow and aged things, breathing and thriving at a pace invisible those who live as quickly and as briefly as us. Oh, yeah? Like a wise old tree or a map of mushrooms below the earth. I mean, okay. Uh, living and decaying all at once for centuries, she is alive. I think I can press on and go further in. I don't know if I can return that way I came. Oh no, we're gonna find his like dead skeleton at the bottom of this. And then if so, how do we get out? Uh, but so few stories are told of those who walk back along their own footsteps. I'll find a way through to the other side. There are a few scraps made unreadable by wear. But I find a later entry that's just about legible. Though it takes me several reads and a few missteps to sort out. Yeah, I mean, that's how I read it. So it's totally fine, Sable. Hmm. Oh, man. Oh. The word gurgling stops me for a moment, and I see it as giggling and grinding before it makes sense. This is how I always read things. So you're you're doing fine. I have been camped here for two days now, Anna. It is warm in here. <laughs> and the air is old and damp. There is a nice salt in it, too. My skin feels better inside a place. In this place, uh, more than the unforgiving dunes. Um, yeah, I mean, you're like inside a creature, so I guess it's probably better than the dunes. In my explanations, I have dropped some unimportant things down into the, the thing. Rocks, small and large, a beetle. I wonder, should I descend further and go below myself? The voice calls to me, but she is drowned out by other noises of rushing water and a deep, resonant gurgling. It all sings. And more than ever, I yearn. Ugh, I don't know. This, this, I don't know. This sounds creepy and scary. Uh, I don't have a choice now. This, this is a one-way trip. The lines are scribbled uh, over whatever was written next, and then it resumes. What have I got to lose? I will leap into the darkness. If I don't return, then know this. I love you, Anna. Oh, wouldn't that have been cool if I did that? <laughs> I'm gonna try it again. Because that would be cool. It's kind of hard to throw stuff in this game. Yeah. Oh, how oh, darn it. Uh, her her throw distance is just slightly too far for that to work. Um. Oh. Um. Wow. This is. I mean, we're underground now because the statue is really not all that tall. But this is. Kind of interesting. It's not like this is completely organic on the inside. Did this all grow? Like you were saying, like mushrooms. Like did this all grow inside this like rock formation, or is the rock formation the exterior of this being 
that has come into existence? Uh, don't know. Don't know. And we may never find out. This game isn't huge on answers sometimes. Uh, I'm also not huge on swimming in whatever this is. Oh! <laughs> Achievement! Gastric bypass. Nice. Uh, gross. I've, I've gotten like 20 achievements today. This has been very uh, weird. Or satisfying. I don't know. I don't know. Who's to say? Uh... Okay. Where? That looks like it's pointing outside, but where was that when I was going anywhere outside? Uh, Ray Drag says, uh, maybe it was super gross and unmovable, so they were like, let's cover this up with some concrete. That's as plausible as anything else. Um, can I climb the walls? Oh, I can. I can, I can dig my hands into the meaty flesh. Yeah, they were just like, I don't know what this creature is, but let's plop some concrete on it. Yeah. Uh, ooh. You let your loot unguarded. You're a fool. What I want to know is where was that? What I'm looking at outside, because I searched all around. Before I exit. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing else in here. Okay. Well, it looks like it's pretty easy to, to get out. Oh, it made a noise. Yeah, for sure. Thanks a lot, Rex. Um, have a great day. I'm glad we could connect uh, for a minute. I usually am streaming while I'm sleeping. Um, yeah, thanks a lot. Talk to you later. Okay. Um, oh, for some reason I thought this was the outside. I am not on the outside. So that would make sense. That's so weird. I don't know what that whistle call is, but it doesn't do anything anywhere else in this game other than call your bike. So strange that it is like so useful here. Like how would anybody know that? I don't think there was any hint. Oops, wrong button. Ugh. Oh, come on. Come on, here we go. Damn, this is like me playing basketball. So this is actually pretty accurate. I actually don't mind that the character is not really good at this. Because I'm not really good at this. Oh, 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 my fast enough? What if it closes on me? Ooh, I kind of want to check, but I also really don't. Ew. Ew. Okay. Yet another diary. Hello there. This piece is damp. Ew. And mold creeps at its edges. Why aren't all the pieces damp and moldy? Anna, I've fallen so far down, slipping and sliding, plunging for an eternity. What things I saw in the blur of the walls as they sped past me, what secrets I heard in the whispers of the rushing wind, Anna, Anna, Anna. If you could only know, if you could only see the voice, not for all to hear. At the end of my fall, I found myself in a new world. And I have lived in this place for half a day now. Half a day? You're not living anywhere for half a day. You're hanging somewhere for half a day. <laughs> I now see why she... It, this guy's... It, I didn't realize this. his like timeline was so short. A half a day? You're spending most of your time journaling, dude. She's a god, but she's crying for help. Oh. Is she crying for help? I mean, I'd be happy to help. Okay, so the like task of getting the the balls to the 
through the individual sphincter hole is getting harder. Okay, I gotcha. So, what does this one do? Wrong button! Just chuck it. What does this one do? Ah, okay, I gotcha. Nope, that was just a bad jump on my part. That is frustrating. I just didn't hit the button. That's not. I don't like swimming in this game. Or most games. Let's see if I can. Oh, so good. Nice. There are some, like, I don't want to say voices, but there are some sounds. Maybe this guy, that were voices. Oh, cool. Uh, a bottle of the colors for your bike. Great. The, like, bloody sphincter color for my bike. Yay. Like an echoing. What are these bones? Like, what creatures have come in here? Like, how could anything get in here? I mean, this guy obviously built, like, a rigging system and, you know, something we boxed around, so maybe he also brought in animals. I found another expert from the diary. Anna, I live... But it is a sorry life, sorry. I have lost her voice down here. And now it only, it's only dampness and rot, the silence. A single drip at the end of a tunnel. It's like, it stops abruptly halfway through a sentence. And when it resumes, the script appears hastier than it ever has. And you will not believe it. Oh, my love, my cherished one. That was the secret. It was when I most lost that she finds me, Anna. What is... She but a helper of those in need. I am a fool. I am how stupid. I quite nearly gave up. But I've just heard her again. I know what she wants. She's so, so hungry. Uh oh. How hungry is she? Wow, she's so hungry. All right. Um. So that's probably the final sphincter not of not of this whole dungeon we'll say but just of this room so that's true oh look look he's like he like built things into the walls to like open this up it's weird like is, did he is did he help her or is he actually making it like much worse I'm looking at the way these platforms are laid out. I think I could probably, because my stamina, do some shortcuts, but... Um, okay, I got you. Watch this, watch this shortcut right here. Just because I have so much stamina. Boom. I think I just saved a step, but I don't know. Let's see what happens. So they all open when you do one. Okay. Oh, did the water level change too? I just saw that. It did. Does that help me? Hurt me? Open up a bonus area? No, I think none of the above. Actually, the water level changes. That means there's some kind of sphincter down below. Theoretically around the level that the water goes down to. 
I see none of that. So, I don't really know what to make of that. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to use, like, science to figure that out, and maybe there is no scientific explanation. Maybe a bunch of muscles loosen or tighten below the water level that changes something. I don't know. Make, an, make a lot of guesses. Okay. Uh, ugh, like, what is this water? Ugh. Bleh. the water level doesn't change so much that it drowns me. is for the water to go down a bit. I can get in here, right? Okay, that, that saves that, okay. Joker Marathon Game Sesh. Uh, yeah, this, this is, a, this is a long stream for me. Yeah, that's, you are correct. I will probably cut this into two YouTube videos though. Sorry, YouTube, you gotta wait a second day. <laughs> um yeah i i want to get uh this will probably be the end like exploring this area but i just i really am enjoying this game though i just i just want to i want to i want to put in the hours and not in a a way like i was starting to feel with uh god of war no offense to God of War, it was a great game, but it was starting to starting to feel like, okay, I, I have to get through it. And this game is like, I have to explore, is how I'm feeling. It's a very different vibe. Like, I, I really want to know things. I'm really annoyed that the person won't tell me where Seven Sisters, or not Seven Sisters, that's the other place, where the stone whales are. They say, you can't miss it. Oh my god, that drives me nuts. Okay, a new note written in a shaky, shaky childlike script. My heart goes cold at the sight of it. Huh. Like I've seen something too vulnerable and cannot help. I have a childlike script myself. <laughs> so the camels were not enough? Oh, this guy is feeding it. What more do you need? I've given you my all and you still ask more of me. Oh, you're beautiful and exquisite God. But you're also a needful and tricky one. I'm catching wise your true meaning, my beloved. All right, this guy's just lost his mind. That's what's going on there. I will give you what you ask with boundless weeping joy. All right. He's out of his gourd. Um, ooh, this is going to be, <clears throat> this is going to be a little challenging. Jump. Oh, no, actually, that was not challenging at all. Never mind. We had plenty of time. to miss anything which way is the way of not missing things this is the first non-sphincter hole oh okay 
Let me come back to this. Cause this this looks like the way to progress. So we want to check out the other area. That's the first just actual hole that you What? This is a huge area too. Oh no, I don't know which way to go now. Oh no. Okay, I'm I'm just I'm just using video game logic to assume that this bigger room is ultimately where I'm supposed to go, so let me check out this like hole. And this is also kind of like like a bonus hole, like maybe this guy dug this out. So I don't know. I don't like the the feeling of like <laughs> Like missing something, uh, which a lot of games do. It's called making a choice. Oh, these don't, these don't look as like healthy as the other holes. Oh no, this is just a hole straight down to the water below. I can't go this way anyways, right? Is that, is that, yeah. Hmm. Oh. I need to throw it down there. Boy, this sure is confusing. So Whoa. Um. Oh, shoot. Oh, I've already been in there. I've already been in this room and I just didn't notice the... The bonus hole? Boy, wow. Now I'm just like so confused. So many jokes I'm not. I like that every surface is climbable. No, I have not been here. But I don't see a way to drop that in there and then get over there in time. Right? Or is that the point? Like, it's supposed to be hard. That's the point. All right, this is making me think even more that this is this is the bonus area. Oh, great question. So am I harvesting lightning crystals? And the reason you ask is because they sell for great money. Well, it turns out that this game anticipated that. I didn't go back and do it anyways. I'm not really that kind of gamer, but wow. Yeah. All right. Well, that's OK. Well, mental note, this is not going to work. Um, I'm not really that kind of gamer anyways, but I did think about it because I really want to buy all the ship upgrades. But then I thought, hey, before I do that, let me... Um, okay. Game is not letting me attach to that surface. So I will attach to the surface. So I said, well, I might as well sell the stuff I currently have, right? And just get money like I have all... You know, I got like some random beetle parts and stuff that I, that I you know, over collected. So I went to go sell them and every merchant, because I've already been to them, you know, before and just sold just a few things, every merchant's out of money. They don't restock their cash. They only get money when you buy something from them. And for the most part, the merchants of the game have nothing that you want to buy except for the like the people that sell the bike parts. So. I gotta go get the back and forth is kind of annoying here. Um, wait, am I right? So, uh, short story long, uh, there's no one to sell it to. 
that's and I think the game does that kind of intentionally so you can get you know you can get some money but you you do have to work for it and uh, you just won't be able to like grind away at something at any point was oh, this gonna work oh that was close I think you're supposed to do that one in two stages Okay. The shrine, if it can be called that, sends chills down my spine. I feel in the presence of something, but whatever it is, it's no god. There's something carved into a piece of wood, and it reads like an incantation. I submerge myself into the depths of you, of my body, build yourself, that you may live anew. So this guy thought this like creature, whatever this creature is, is some kind of god, and he was feeding it over and over, feeding the camels or whatever, and then apparently above the incantation sits a mask, repulsive and scarred. It looks like it's made it from a baby sandworm. Are the teeth in its mouth real? In the darkness, I listen, trying to hear whatever the writer believed was a voice. There's nothing. They killed themselves. I reach forward and take the mask from the stand. Yeah, I do, because I'm all about them masks. <laughs> uh, I should look for a way out. Uh, I should say so. I also would really like to know what these like red glowing crystals are and what these are. So this dude just straight up just ground himself thinking that, that that's what this god wanted. Let's let's do a quick little recap of of today. Holy smokes. I got all the beetle badges. Therefore, I got one more climbing badge. I got two entertainment badges. You need three badges for a mask. I got I got more merchant bags and guard bags. I didn't need those. OK, so therefore I got a guard mask. I got a beetle mask. I got a merchant mask today. I got this creepy, disgusting mask. Um, and I've got the shade of that town mask. This is a like a masked vigilante that the mask mantle has been passed on. Very Skyrim Thieves Guild. I got all of these just today and probably like 15 different achievements. Uh, I got some new outfits. I got the achievement for the outfits. You're absolutely right. Um, I got this outfit. I got, I got, I got these, these pants. Actually, you know, I like these pants with this top. Oh, yeah. Okay. Anyways, uh, boy, we, we really have accomplished a lot today. I think I'm a little bit closer to understanding who I am which is the whole point of the gliding. Um, I also, before I celebrate any kind of her excitement, I have to get the heck out of here. Yeah, there is no God um, of this worm body and I... Ooh, I don't know how I feel about this. Okay. And I simply take your mask. <laughs> Even Sable the character is like, this mask is disgusting. A yoink. It's a one of a kind. Let's put it that way, right? Oh, I almost made that. You know, when I go back, when I go back to town and they're like, okay, that was just bad. And they're like, oh, that's a merchant's mask or that's a, a machinist mask. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, I have the worm mask. You've never seen it. Because this was this was crafted by a crazy man who gave himself 
to the worm. Wow. Well, I, I will say for sure. Oh, it's kind of that's fun. Uh, I will say for sure. I'm happy that I happened upon the spoiler saying inside the worm, which got me to come back here. What? Where am I? Okay. All right. Well, the glitching is not really helping with my excitement. Let me get a little farther away. <laughs> All right. Well, you can't see the water, but this is where am I? <gasps> Do you remember me saying, look at this giant pillar. There's a giant pillar that comes to the ground. And I kept always saying, and you'll see when I get to the edge here, and I kept always saying, I don't think I will ever have enough stamina to climb that. And I just don't think it's possible to climb that. Like, that's that's what I determined. And I was like, why are they teasing me with this giant tower? I circled around it probably five or six times, and there is absolutely no way you could triple, quadruple the stamina, and you would never get it. And a Chumig! And this is the only way to get this to make. Wow. Okay. So happy that I went back through the worm. You'll you would you would never ever be able to do anything with this tower. Wow. What a great awesome ending. I'm going to say that's an awesome ending to the stream. That I'm so glad that I huh, that I went back into the worm and uh, and then you come out here. I almost don't want to jump down because there's there's just no way to get back up here. I don't know. I mean, that's I guess that's the point. To to give it a Hold on, how do I? Here we go, photo mode. No, wait, it was already on? I have no idea. So they just added photo mode. What does that mean? No idea. Um, I thought I thought I'd push a button and it would like do it. Nope, not that. All right, I have no idea how to do photo mode. <laughs> But the point is, um, never, never thought I would be able to get up here um, and just was kind of confused why they even put this in the game. So that is awesome. I'm, I'm definitely super stoked it was in here. There we go. We're going to we're going to call it a night there. And um, thank you very much. I, I, I have to uh, I will be back. Saturday for yet another Lego Star Wars. We are on episode seven. So we're starting the new trilogy. We're going to do seven, eight, nine. I've never watched the movie for nine. So that'll I'll be playing the game before I see the movie. So that that'll be fun. And then next Wednesday, we're definitely getting back to Sable. I don't know if it'll be the last stream So we did. You know, we accomplished a lot today. Um, and this game is over when when you determine that you have seen everything you think there is to learn, or you have learned enough about yourself to progress into adulthood. That's that's the point of the game. So am I there in one more week or two more weeks? I don't know, um, but I will keep you updated. Uh, so thank you again, everybody. Have a wonderful night, wonderful week, wonderful day for those of you in Europe. And uh, see you soon. Okay.